Oh, the play is just starting. Watch the performance. Sure. But of all, my best beloved and approved friend... Hortensio? Why does it seem awfully familiar to Horatio? And I trow this is his house? What? Good morrow, Kate. Morrow. Good morrow, Kate. For that's your name, I hear. Hmm. Hmm. Well, have you heard, but... But something hard of hearing. They call me Catherine, that do talk of me. Catherine looks so familiar. Who is she? Are they someone from the castle? Feels as if I've known that voice. Um, is that Bernardo? That might be Bernardo. Husband, let's follow to see the end of this ado. First kiss me, Kate, and we will. Ah. What? In the midst of the street? What? Art thou ashamed of me? No. God forbid, but ashamed to kiss. Why then? Let's home again. Nay, I will give thee a kiss. <laughs> now pray thee, love, stay. Is not this well? Come, my sweet Kate. Better one than never, for never too late. Bernardo? I thought it was Bernardo. It, is that you? That was going to be awkward. <laughs> Ophelia, I thought you'd wait a little bit. What... What are you doing here? Oi, Kate, you've lost your nerve. What's going on? I paid for this. Come on, say something. Wait, don't go. I shouldn't have done that. But I never knew. She went to the bar. Bernardo. Is that really you? <sighs> what are you doing here? How can you be outside the castle? And how long did it take you to recognize me? Look. Never mind that. Look, I came because I was worried about you. You ran off so quickly. There's no point. Before this goes any further, um, remember the conversation that we saw between Bernardo and Horatio? How Horatio was... Uh, what were they, I guess? I guess they were just not religious? Or at least they didn't believe in... in Bernardo's religion? Bernardo was like a very... Hardline Catholic. What you saw on stage is, is me. Or the rest of me, I suppose. For many years, I've been a player. It started when I was a child, playing Juliet. <sighs> and tonight, it ended as Catherine. What? Why must it end? For a boy player, there are only two options when one grows old. Take the male parts, or leave the stage. And I would rather leave. I never thought the day would come when I would have to stop. I never wanted to. In the moments when I was up there, I felt like I was showing the world the truer form of myself. The me was not just strong, but beautiful. This is very interesting. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, Bernardo is a trans woman? You and that Petruccio actor. It was stage play, Ophelia. Very convincing stage play. My lady. Please, I don't want to... I can't think about all of this right now. In my life at the castle, 
I spend every shred of my willpower trying not to think about it. Does anyone in Elsinore know? <sighs> Only Claudius. He used it to keep me in fear. Ooh. And you now know, I suppose. I've used a pseudonym these long years. Kept my face hidden when I left the changing room. My father. My father found out. Hated me for it. But he's dead now. And took his shame with him. And told no one. Right before he died, he told me the world would turn on me if they ever knew. <sighs> well, he was wrong about that. About me, at least. You can trust me. How many years have we known each other? You've always taken care of me. Now it's my turn. Hamlet. You could trust in him too, I think. Hamlet. No, I think not. What if word got out, Ophelia? Think. Would I be guard captain still? Or would they snicker and taunt just as they did tonight, right to my face? Or worse, would they try to destroy me? I pray to God daily, but I don't know that he listens to me anymore. Renardo. Catherine, whomever you desire to be. My father has a saying for times like this. To thine own self be true. If this is your truth, then God will love you for it. What you choose to tell others is up to you, but I will always, always be your friend. There's that, at least. Hmm. How should I call you? By which I mean, how would you like to be called? Call me Bernardo. Man or woman, I know not which. Someday one, then the other. Both are to my liking. It would be easier for now if you called me as a man before my own men. Uh, some of them would react poorly to who I am, I suspect. If that's her wish, I'll honor it. Will you not speak to Hamlet and my brother? They've known you since you were a boy, after all. No. They might fear me. Hate me. Pity me. I can trust no one with this. Not right now, when I'm in the position I am, and when the country's at war. <sighs> I felt so alone for so long. I must return to the castle soon. But for now, I'll linger a while. Please be careful in town. Were I in my right mind, I'd escort you home. But I hope you'll forgive me for sending you alone. Okay, so I don't, I don't think they're necessarily a trans woman, or at least they don't know if they're a trans woman. It sounds like they're really just not quite sure whether they're a man or a woman. Perhaps they're non-binary. They're still trying to figure it out. Well, this is a storyline that I was not expecting, and I'm very, very happy to see it. I wonder what I can do with this. Not in an exploitive way. Because, like, I really, really, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm a trans woman, so... I really understand that I shouldn't out them to people that they don't want to be outed to and that they're in a very precarious position, especially considering the time period we're at. Yeah, I wonder, I just hope I can help them and develop their story and make good things happen with them. I wonder if it's going to be a, a, a lead, like a, a quest or... Something else. I'm curious how they're going to handle this. I have... I, I believe in the writers of this game. That they're smart and caring and that this isn't going to turn into some exploitive, like, horrible thing. So, I'm excited. Not worried. Um, yeah, let's see. Is that a lead? 
No, the barkeep in me is a lead. Othello, the barkeep in town, seems to live in a world separate from mine. I'd like to observe what his day-to-day -day life might be like. Hmm. That'd be interesting. Perhaps I should hang out here. What is changing the play? Why is that blue? Uh, remember, Quince came to us and told us they're going to give us a new ability. The ability to have the play be whatever we want it to be. So I guess these are the specific things we can make the play about. A spy frozen in time. My father's death. Claudius killed King Hamlet. <laughs> that should be an interesting play. What's wrong with Hamlet or the affair? I'm guessing those are sort of like shortcuts that allow us to get things done without going to each individual person and, and telling them. So what has been added to... I guess I'll keep calling him Bernardo. Is they're okay with both name, both names? I saw Bernardo performing in town today as Catherine. I never knew. We grew up together, and I never knew. This doesn't change my feelings towards Bernardo. However, she or he chooses to live in the future. But for now, the Bernardos in other worlds would clearly prefer to keep this information private. And that I will do. I'm curious if that's a hearsay thing, because if it is, then I'd be worried about that and I would not want to tell it to somebody. That should be something they tell other people, not I tell other people. Is it an option? It is, but we'll see who we can tell it to and how that works out. Are they about to... Oh. They're talking with each other. Oh. What you did out there was bold. Oh. It won't help anything. There's nowhere left for me now. I've thought that many times in my life. But I've always been wrong. You'll survive. I have faith. Maybe. So they know each other. And Othello knows all about Bernardo slash Catherine. Mm, um, oh, shit. Oh, it's really late. We must have missed. We definitely missed the ghost on the wall. So. What do I want to do now? We have this barkeep thing, so I kind of want to just hang out here and see what events pop up. I want to do the ghost on the wall thing, but I failed at that this night, but there's other nights. Mm. I want to eavesdrop on Lady Brit at the docks and also get eggs, I guess, to make the artist kit for Horatio. Do I still need to do that to like have Lady Brit come out to the town? I don't know. For now, let's go to the kitchen, see if we can grab eggs. Various herbs. There are some eggs here. Wasn't there something else I needed? Ah, oh, no, Irma's here. They're stopping me. I promise me. I promise you, you won't like the consequences. Maybe later. Edgar. Edgar hanging out in there. Hmm. What else did I need? I needed charcoal eggs, and wasn't there something else? But what was the other thing? Oh, um, like linen from from my room. Are you burning stuff, Polonius? You fucker! Are you burning stuff? I don't know. If they burned it, then would the chest be empty and it would be open? I don't know. 
Mm. There we go. So Horatio, and I'll make an artist's kit. Oh. Hmm. So I can I can mention the Bernardo and Catherine thing to Horatio. I hmm. I'm worried where that's going to lead. But maybe looking at this little dialogue thing here, Horatio, do you know about Bernardo's performance career? Maybe that's just a subtle way of figuring out if they know or not, and I'm not actually revealing anything. Maybe I don't tell them. Maybe I'm just like, do you know about their performance career? And if they say yes, then I know that they know. And if they say no, then it doesn't go any further. I hope. Uh, but first... Artist kit? Listen. Certainly. Do you know what ails her? She's an artist. Huh. Of course. Uh -huh. hmm. mm. I've got some stuff. Let me know when you found everything. Well, guess what? Guess what? I found everything. Um, wait. Oh, is it not a dialogue thing? Do I need to... Is it like an event? Maybe I shouldn't have skipped that dialogue. <laughs> I think it must be an event, like I need to meet them or something. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see where this Bernardo and Catherine thing goes. Horatio. Do you know about Bernardo's performance career? As Catherine, I'm... Mm. Mm. Okay, this is not where I wanted this to go. As Catherine, I mean, Bernardo plays a woman in town performances. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like that. No, I shouldn't be able to say that. Oh. Of course. Isn't she just fantastic? I caught a show last week. How could you already know about it? Ophelia, are you really the sort of person that would just... spread that shit around? Without their consent? Against, not even just without their consent, against their specific wishes to not tell anybody? <sighs> Honestly, Ophelia, I'm mildly offended you even have to ask. I adore the arts, and Elsinore is where culture goes to die. Thus, I must go into town to satiate myself. Catherine's stage makeup is good, but it isn't that good. I don't think she's ever noticed me among the crowd. I keep to myself. Well, Bernardo, or Catherine, is more than a little tormented over others finding out about this. Yeah, so why did you tell Horatio, Ophelia? I mean, I know they're probably to be trusted, but still. Hmm. So you immediately ran to come tell me and everyone else you know? Okay. Good. <gasps> no, well, you... I thought you might be able to help Bernardo for... Precisely the reason you mentioned. You've traveled all over and met all kinds of people. Have you ever met anyone like Bernardo? Okay, good. Yes. I was right to trust these writers. Putting aside my utter disgust at you for the moment, yes, many a time. Good. I'm happy now. <laughs> so they do let you do the shitty thing, but then... Other characters recognize that you're doing a shitty thing. Farewell. My dear, I have just the thing to cure this forlorn spirit. Allow me to handle this. Feature event in which Horatio and Bernardo sit down for a heart-to-heart. -heart. Man, Bernardo's gonna hate us now, right? Like, maybe the heart-to-heart -heart is gonna go really well with Horatio and Bernardo. It probably will, but... The fact that they're having that means that surely Bernardo is going to know that I told Horatio. And that's going to ruin our friendship, as it should. That's going to be awkward as fuck. Okay, what now? Heart to heart, a little bit later. 
for now, hang out with Lady Brit and see if Horatio shows up. Can I talk to you about the artist kit? Can I talk to you about the fact that you're a spy? Ooh, is something... Oh, something's happening up here in the bar with Irma and Othello. I keep wanting to call them Orthello for some reason. I don't know why. That's a word or a name that's stuck in my head for some reason. Is Orthello something? Is that a thing? I'm going to Google it. Orthello. Orthello 2D Framework 100% Free Unity Forum. A post from 2011? No. I don't think it's a thing. <laughs> and could I... Oh, shit, Marcellus is there too. Could I potentially get there before their conversation finishes? Maybe. I mean, I got a bit of time before this. Let's go. Ah, no, it finished. I just saw it finish. Back to waiting around Lady Brit. Or not. Where did they go? Ah, whatever. Oh, they're going to have the conversation a little bit later uh, between Horatio and Bernardo in the bar. So I might as well hang out there anyway. Ah, hmm. what, is, what is this? Another event. How old is the youngest child now? Ah. 14. She's gone and gotten married too. Making her father proud. That's Anna. I'm my oldest, Alexander. He's got gray, gray at his temples just like me. Alexander? As in... King Alexander. The first man I ever served in Elsinore. And the greatest. Hmm. My Lady Gertrude seems to believe he was rather a cruel man. Yes. The greatest and the cruelest. Where do you think Hamlet and Claudius got their mean streak? Ah, Alexander beat him without a second thought if they weren't polished and hardy at all times. Marcellus, why are you saying this like you have a tear in your eye at the fond memories of Alexander beating their children? But you know, he applied that same work to all the men who served him in the wars, myself included. That's not a good thing, Marcellus. That makes it worse. It made us all the better. We were made of steel. We fought like hell. We sent our enemies packing a dozen times. And his rewards were all the sweeter. Casks of wine so fat and round, three men with hands joined couldn't surround him. King Alexander sure knew how to discipline him like the best. I was proud to name my son after him. I hope Bernardo isn't gay for Marcellus, because Bernardo, you deserve better. Such a pity and a shame to see his grandson behaving as he does. I wonder what King Alexander would say. Uh, no. Well, you know, even the best tree produces a weird looking fruit now and then. A weird looking fruit indeed, that one. <laughs> now then. What are yourself? Uh, where are your children now? My husband died not long after I discovered I was with child. He fell under a horse cart and was trampled. But I swore to build a great family, to move forward even as I prayed for his immortal soul. I bore my daughter, Mary. She was a sickly little thing, hardly the size of my hand when she was born. And she didn't cry. I thought that made her a peaceful child. I remember marveling to the doctor. Isn't she a wonder, my quiet child? But it was bad, the silence. It meant her lungs were weak. She made a faint, rattling sound when she breathed. The night Mary was born, 
Her Majesty Gertrude was born as well. Little Gerda, they called her. Gertrude was a healthy child, but her mother made no milk, so they brought her to me. I fed her and Marie at the same time, looking down on both their faces as I held them close. Gerda cooed and smiled, and her eyes were curious, even then. But my daughter Mary, she looked at nothing. She refused my breast. She moved little. I watched one babe wither away, and the other flourish. One morning, I reached for my daughter, and her tiny body was cold. I called a priest. They took her from me and buried her. And I continued to feed Gerda. Little Gerda, who grew larger every day. And now Gerda has grown and married. Every bit the graceful woman I knew she would become. Ah, uh, hell. I had no clue. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you can steal all my money the next time we play cards. <laughs> <laughs> the despairing look on all your fat, ruddy faces when I fleece you does bring me great comfort. Well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, you evil hag. Fool. Better evil than a clod. <laughs> okay, hold on for a second. Is it just me that when I hear Claude, I cannot imagine anybody's voice except Peridot from Steven Universe? Ha! I'm proud to be a Claude. Being smart never did anyone no good. That's not true at all, Marcellus. <laughs> Look at us. Two drunken old fools trading insults. We both have better places to be. I'd rather stay here and drink with you. I'll let Bernardo lecture me later. And then, cheers to the old forgotten ones. Aye. That was a conversation full of ups and downs. Some bad stuff and some good stuff. Ooh, is this the conversation? Y yes, it is. All right, this might be very awkward. Ah. Ah, you're here. Come, have a seat. Hmm. What are you having? No wine tonight. I think this calls for some of that aqua vitae you keep in the back. What's aqua vitae? Ugh. Just water? I didn't come here to drink. <laughs> of course you did. You just don't know it yet. Once more, have a seat. Bernardo. I think you already suspect what this is about, don't you? I spend quite a lot of time in town, and I've seen you around quite often, too. <sighs> I... I don't know why I came. You should thank Ophelia for getting us together. It was her doing. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Yep. Bernardo. Please hate Ophelia. You have every right to hate Ophelia. Oh, I've seen your performances, you know, several times. You have talent. There are times when player and part align, and the human being on stage truly becomes their character. When the performer leaves the stage, it's impossible for me to see them as anything other than the person they played. It's the ultimate resonance. So I shall leave it to you to tell me. What part of your heart is Bernardo, and what part of you is someone else? How can you ask me that? I cannot know that. I think you do. And I think you're afraid, because you know the answer will change your world greatly. Hmm. Let me tell you a story, my friend, whomever you are. I was raised in Italy. When my father passed, I made my way to Florence seeking work. There, I found a world of creation. 
Every small building held an artist's workshop, it seemed. Every street was full of music. I stumbled into one of these workshops once and became an assistant to a great artist. He painted human beings as I'd never seen them. I learned that human bodies were not dirty and sinful as my father once had me believe, but full of light, beautiful and wondrous. And there, I learned about what the French call the Italian vice. I fell in love with my master, and he with me. He taught me that lovemaking, like painting, is an art form unto itself. In Florence, love between men is common. The Germans call a man like me Florenzer. I never thought it strange. It was only upon coming here to Denmark that I realized the rest of the world treats these matters as sinful. <gasps> An entire city of sodomites? Surely God will smite Florence for such wickedness. Ah. ah, you see, that's the curious thing. Upon leaving Florence, I felt compelled to travel to see that little chapel Michelangelo painted. I'd heard it was rather a nice work of his. Looking up into the face of the Christian God, reaching out to touch man, I realized, Your God is pure infinite love, a love for humankind which surpasses even the stars. How could he ever hate his own creation? How could a being of such magnificence ever turn upon the thing he had created in his own image? I see. So when you came to Elsinore, you hid your preference for men? I did, for my own safety. It was simple. There is only one Dane worth loving at the moment, and he is thoroughly unavailable to me. That'd be Hamlet, right? <laughs> Hamlet? Of course. You mustn't think of it like some sad, one-sided, pining away sort of thing, though I love him in a number of ways. Above all, he is my dearest, truest friend, though he might be going through the darkest time of his life right now. I wanted to see his grief through to its sticking place. I'll leave Elsinore and return to Italy very soon, I expect. And did you ever, with Hamlet... <laughs> well, now that's a story I'll take to the grave. I never noticed all this about you before. I never looked closely enough, I suppose. It's surprising what the eye misses when it does not understand what is possible. Maybe that's why I never felt afraid as Catherine. Several of my men have seen me perform and never realized. I felt safe. They weren't looking for Bernardo, so they didn't see Bernardo. I believe if I could, if I could do anything, I'd be Catherine whenever I pleased and Bernardo whenever I pleased. At once, both, or neither. Can you not? Not here. Not in Elsinore. Then where? I don't know where else to go. I have my father's estate. It's mine now, but going there feels wrong. Come with me. Come with me to Florence, then. You'd like it there theater on every doorstep, and hundreds of Petruccios. Can't throw a stone without hitting ten beautiful men in their beautiful faces. I want to, but if I think about it too heavily, I'll become too afraid to leave. Then let's leave Sunday. What? You heard me. Isn't it easier to make a snap decision like this? Pull a pack together and we'll leave. Two horses from the royal stables won't be missed for a few days. That would be so nice to just vanish and start anew. I'll need to find time to say goodbye to Hamlet, of course. And I to Marcellus. I owe him that much. Farewell. Let us part for now, then. 
On Sunday, we'll depart. I really like this game. Are they... They're about to have a conversation, aren't they? I wish I could hear it. <laughs> and what have we here, Othello? <laughs> Just a flight of fancy. The thing's out of tune. Sounds tuned well enough to me. And I do so love to be serenaded. Especially by the strong, silent type. Me? Silent? You must be joking. Hmm. Excellent point. Strong, then. What would you like to hear? Uh, there's a little old bit of something I heard in the barracks often. Oh. The barracks? Are you a soldier? Ah. Believe it or not, once, under King Hamlet in his infamous three-year chess match with Norway. Three years is but a blink of an eye on a war, back where I come from. When the countries are but a week's travel apart, a three-year conflict feels like eternity. But I wasn't cut out for that life, I'm afraid. I much prefer reasonable discussion to endless posturing and saber-rattling. And I much prefer to rattle a literal saber. You have the look of an old soldier about you. In which war did you fight? Mm. Which war? Why, the unending war the Turks wage upon all who do not bow to the Sultan. I served at the Sultan's pleasure for over a decade and fought for his causes against foreigners. I beheaded thousands of men. I find that strangely charming and possibly seductive. <laughs> well, I'm certain there's many a man willing to grab your head around here. Toward the end of my decade, I was one of the Sultan's own viziers. I had gardens and treasures aplenty. This feels like a different world entirely. <laughs> you gave up all that to come to this rotten, pasty little country? Why on earth? Because it was not truly mine. I was an Ottoman slave. Everything I did was in my master's name, even when I surpassed his rank with my own. In fact, my master's name, Halil, was appended to my name quite literally. I longed to be my own man. So I fled. I imagine you aren't welcome in Constantinople any longer. <laughs> I'm sure they would welcome me. Right into an execution chamber. <laughs> well, with the way Denmark's trending, your fortunes may not be better here. Aye. What a pity that. At least we've still got music. Yes. It is the only thing which transcends language or border. Even dance may offend, but music is immortal. I wish you excellent fortune getting that loot into tune. Thanks, friend. We'll see. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return... Uh, what's on the timeline? A lot of stuff has happened, but... Yeah, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen next. I think next I'm just gonna wait to talk with a ghost on the walls every night, try to be Lady Britt's friend and follow them out here, and hang around the bar some more and see who comes by. <laughs> <laughs>